the sustainability principles uh, are, that are key in the framework um, was really an enigma. How can we define what sustainability would entail in this very complex system? And it took us quite some time until we realized that what we actually must define are basic mechanisms for how to destroy the system. Because that's what we're doing. The term sustainability is irrelevant until humanity started to destroy the system. So we must define basic mechanisms by which we destroy the system and then put a knot in those. And by checking all the thousands of impacts we observed in natural systems and social systems, we, and testing them to basic principles, we began to realize that we can cluster all those problems into basic design errors of society. The first one being that society is so designed all the way down to the basic principle level that it allows mined materials such as metals and carbon dioxide from fossil fuels to systematically increase in natural systems as pollutants leading to climate change and cadmium in kidneys and phosphates in lakes and sulfurous acid rain and so forth and so on. But we never say that. Instead, we say all those detailed impacts and we have scientists studying them one by one and they don't even meet each other, those different scientists. But they are in fact studying one and the same design flaw of society that we allow mine materials to increase as waste in the system. The second principle was elaborated from an understanding that society is so designed as well that it also allows compounds to increase in concentration. But we never say that. Instead we say PCB, DDT, dielrins, freons, anti-flammables, uh, and we keep on adding at the level of impact. And those scientists, again, they have their different conferences and those who are dealing with the extinction of otters from toxicity never meet those who are dealing with the endocrine disruptors in humans and so forth and so on. The third principle is that besides polluting Mother Nature by those two different mechanisms, we are also removing it physically. We are encroaching more and more physically by bulldozers, chainsaws, far too large fish boats. We're simply removing natural systems. We're not only polluting them. And the fourth principle is that besides destroying Mother Nature, we are also systematically eroding the possibility of people to meet their basic needs uh, at the level of the globe, the global level. Uh, so we, we are undermining the capacity of people to meet their needs. Uh, these basic principles explain everything else uh, in the system, uh, which means that if you put them ahead of you and you ask yourself, what would our organization be like in the future when we no longer contribute to this problem? We are not only not contributing to that carbon dioxide is increasing in concentration in the system, but no other elements either, no chemicals. We are not part of removing natural systems anywhere physically, and we are not part of eroding the social tissue anywhere in the system. What is that? And that is a basic principle question which creates innovation and design and out-of-the-box thinking, which helps businesses envision a much more prosperous world, one where their risk of hitting the walls of the funnel is much reduced. Some, sometimes when we talk about those principles and how to plan accordingly, organizations ask us, uh, does this mean that we cannot have any mining or that we can't use chemicals anymore? And when they ask that, um, they probably don't think about the fact that Mother Nature is composed of chemicals and elements. So it's, the problem is not that. The problem is that our behavior is such that waste of that kind is increasing in concentration in the system. And Mother Nature doesn't do that. Uh, Mother Nature recycles it, uh, performs in another way. So we only have to adopt and uh, in that respect mimic part of how nature works so that our activities when we mine and when we use metals and when we use chemicals we safeguard our behavior in a way that prohibits increasing concentrations of the waste from our activities. Sometimes this means that we must phase out certain elements and certain compounds because they are so scarce normally in natural systems that even minimal leakages would lead to increased concentrations, such as CFCs or plutonium or 
to, to mention a few. Whereas other compounds and elements, it is more or less impossible to increase in concentration in natural systems, such as aluminum, because Mother Nature is more or less made of aluminum, or uh, iron, or uh, various kinds of chemicals that uh, Mother Nature has no problem at all to recycle for us.